హలో గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ మై నేమ్ ఈ జగదీష్ కుమార్ బండారు ఐ హ్యావ్ ట్వంటీ త్రీ ఇయర్స్ టీచింగ్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఇన్ ఫిజిక్స్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోన్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ది బేసిక్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ దట్ ఈస్ వెక్టాస్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టు సాల్వ్ ద physics problems so basic chapter of physics also so all the physical quantities in physics divided into two groups one group we call it as vectors another group we call it as scalars first of all what is the physical quantities the quantities which can be measurable are known as physical quantities what are the physical quantities the quantities which can be measurable are known as physical quantities we have one doubt any quantity is there without a measure suppose if i am going to consider time we have the clock or watches to measure time to measure the mass we have the balance to measure the length or distances we have the scales or tapes like that we have measuring devices to calculate some physical quantities so those quantities generally we call it as physical quantities that means the quantities which can be measurable are known as physical quantities so what are the physical quantities generally the quantities which can be measurable measurable are known as physical quantities physical quantities example for example i'm going to consider time we can measure by using the clock or watch length or distance we can measure by using the scales or tapes mass we can measure by using the balance so these quantities examples for physical quantities is there any quantity not possible to measure yes is there suppose sadness not possible to measure beautiness handsome cuteness these are not possible to measure laughing crying these quantities are not possible to measure those quantities are not physical quantities remember my students these physical quantities are divided into two groups i said one group we called as scalars another group we called as vectors on what basis they are going to divide all physical quantities into two groups we will see now let us see suppose here some physical quantities have only magnitude if i am going to consider mass so we are going to measure 2 kg sir or 3 kg sir 5 kg sir like that only suppose if i am going to consider distance 2 meters sir 10 meters sir that is enough to know the distance the complete information of distance we can understand by the simplest value 2 meters or 10 meters that is enough to understand what is the distance what is the distance what is the mass 2 kg 3 kg otherwise 5 grams that is enough to understand about the mass suppose i am going to ask one more question this is the floor and i am going to consider a mass here I ask you to move the block. 
from here. I ask you to move the block from here. Then the person trying to move, this person trying to move this object with a force. Consider 5 Newtons. This is the magnitude. How much force is applied on the block to move from one place to another place? That force is nothing but magnitude. To move the block, one more information also I require. In which direction I need to move? If I'm going to consider two points, here point P, here point Q, this person move, move this person need to move the block towards the point P, towards the point Q. We need to mention. 5 Newton's magnitude is not sufficient to understand complete information of the force. That is only magnitude of the force. To understand complete information of the force, we need to give another one that is in which direction you need to apply the force. So the block you need to move towards the point P or towards the point Q. Or. That is we need to mention. That means along with the magnitude, direction also I need to mention to apply the force on your body. On your body. At the time we can understand some physical quantities required like force along with the magnitude, direction also. Such a kind of physical quantities also present in second group that is we call it as vectors. That's why finally all the Physical quantities divided into two groups, one group called scalars, another group called vectors. Here, I'm going to mention those points here. Observe. All the physical quantities divided into two groups. One is scalar. Another one is vector. Scalar means the physical quantities which have only magnitude. Example I said mass. For example, 5 kg, that is enough. No another information required to understand the mass. Distance. 2 meters, no number, another information required to understand the distance. Time, 1 hour, no another information required to understand the time. Suppose vector means it requires both, it requires both magnitude and the direction. direction and also obeys the vector relation vector relation what is the meaning of obeys the vector relation we will see in later sessions here vector means it should have both the magnitude and direction and also it obeys the vector addition vector addition so for example i consider force is a vector quantity so it requires 5 newtons force in which direction i need to apply 5 newtons force due east means what i need to apply 5 newtons force towards the east. Due east means I need to apply 5 Newton's force towards the east. Towards the east. Due east means towards the east. This is the classification of physical quantities. My dear student, in next session I will discuss representation of vector and basic points what we need to remember in the vectors 
and vector additions. Thank you, my students. We will continue in next class.